The white and pink blooms of the breathtaking dogwood serve as a visual clue marking spring's much anticipated arrival. These stunning trees grow in all parts of Tennessee with more than 100 varieties statewide. Our mild weather is perfect for cultivating these delicate beauties. We have a good climate. We have a long growing season. If you go very much farther south than us, it gets too hot for some dogwood. So we're in a perfect place to do it. And Tennessee, of course, is the number one producer of dogwoods in the United States. There's an 80% chance if a dogwood is sold in the United States, but that tree got its start in Tennessee. Dr. Mark Windham is known as one of the dogwood docs of UT Ag Research. He leads a team that cultivates new varieties of dogwoods in greenhouses on the UT Ag campus and in test fields. This research is critical because dogwoods are such a huge moneymaker for Tennessee's green industry, generating sales of some $40 million a year. Given the importance of the dogwood to our ag economy, the UT Ag Research Team works to protect these trees. Dogwoods have been threatened by a disease called anthracnose. Dogwood anthracnose was the first major disease that we had in, to uh, affect our nursery industry. And although it wasn't a very serious problem in the industry, it was a serious problem where we sold our, most of our trees. Also, there's powdery mildew, a fungus that makes a tree look bad, like someone doused it with talcum powder. When powdery mildew showed up, uh, there were millions of dogwoods that were being thrown away in our nursery industry because we didn't know what to do about it. Dr. Wyndham and the UT Ag Research Team developed dogwoods resistant to these diseases, especially in the case of powdery mildew. UT Ag Research then received patents on these dogwood varieties with the scientific name of Cornus Florida. We have four trees that, are, that have been patented for powdery mildew resistance, and they are Appalachian Blush, Appalachian Mist, Appalachian Snow, and the most recent is Appalachian Joy. Uh, the trees are all white, but they are very, very different in their horticultural characteristics. And so working with the UT Research Foundation, uh, we did disclosures. Uh, their patent attorney helped us through the process, and we were able to patent those trees. In addition to that, we also got a utility patent that patented the concept of powdery mildew resistance in Cornish, Florida. So our trees are not only patented, but they're protected in the sense that other people cannot release trees that are resistant to powdery mildew. Wyndham says these new varieties are selling well, and marketing surveys show that consumers are willing to pay more for a disease-resistant tree. UTIA even has marketing licenses for trees sold on the West Coast and as far away as Japan. For Wyndham and his crew, there is still work to do to combat these dogwood diseases, but they are ready for the challenge. We're very optimistic uh, about the future of Cornish, Florida. Now, of course, the Holy Grail, which is what we're working towards, would be a single tree that's resistant to both diseases, one resistant to dogwood anthracnose and to powdery mildew. We don't have that yet, but uh, no one said that research is easy. It's not, but uh, that is our goal. And I am optimistic that with hard work and time, we'll reach it. Meantime, there will be work at UTIA to keep these trees beautiful. UT Ag researchers continue their effort year-round to make certain future springs are dotted with blooms and color.